Good morning, YouTube. This will be part two of trying to answer the following question. Does a Raspberry Pi plus Kodi equal a media center extender? For this comparison, I'll have a Raspberry Pi 2 running Kodi and my old media center PC running Windows Media Center. They both connect to my Sony AV receiver and I'll switch video inputs there. In a previous video, I listed some key features of a media center extender. So let's continue through a few more of those features comparing media center to Kodi. So feature number two is access to the same live TV content. This feature is similar on Kodi and media center. This is media center right here. And I think Media Center has better recording and searching features. More on that later, but you can come in here and set up your recordings, and that's all just using a, you know, a Media Center remote here. So I don't need a keyboard to type anything. So let's switch over to Kodi. I think the Kodi Live TV user interface is nicer with more video and audio information. It shows the resolution. Uh, this is an SD show. It shows the digital audio format. And in this case, uh, Dolby Digital 1.0, which means it's just a monaural show. It'll show 5.1 if it's uh, an HD channel. Yeah, so you can uh, record this show right now until it ends by hitting that button. But if you want to set up a series recordings, you've got to do that from a separate menu. So that's a little different with Media Center. Uh, this is one thing I like. The video settings gives you the ability to stretch 4x3 videos to 16x9. And then if you set that as the default for all videos, it will work pretty much with every live TV signal and video that's you know not a live TV signal and it leaves 16 by 9 video content untouched. So that's kind of a nice feature. And this is quite nice as I find I watch a mix of older 4x3 content as well as newer 16x9 content. So I just set it once and it applies to all videos. So back to Media Center here. So in Media Center I have a zoom feature. They've got pretty much the same four. Uh, there's, you know, normal aspect ratio. So I either use zoom one or zoom four. Zoom four is dynamically stretch. So with uh, Media Center, I think they have a zoom factor per channel. So I could set this channel to stretch. And if I have an HD channel that's 16 by 9, I can leave that at zoom 1, which is the normal aspect ratio. So as long as a given channel sticks with a given aspect ratio, it's pretty good. But you see here there's, there's less information. It doesn't show you what the video or audio resolution is. So I think Kodi wins this one for general TV viewing. I think Media Center wins if you use the search and recording features heavily. Let's go back to Kodi here. So feature number three is similar electronic program guide or EPG information for live TV content. So here's the electronic program guide. It's pretty much the same information if you're using server WMC. It may be argued that the EPG display is nicer on Kodi. You can add the channel icons. I have a video showing how to do that. By default, I think you get eight channels tall by three hours wide. So let's look at Media Center. So here's Media Center. You know, this is just the default uh, that you get off of the software installation. Uh, you can install an add-on 
I think it's called My Channel Logos for Media Center that gives you the channel icons and also it increases the size of the display. But WMC also gives you program thumbnails for some shows. Uh, Cody only displays the channel icon, so they don't display this little uh, uh, thumbnail. And it's, again, not on all programs. It's on certain ones. Okay, so here, just to show you, uh, I showed this briefly in, a, in another video, but with Media Center, which we're looking at here, if you have a show that has cast and crew information, this is additional to the basic program information. So, for instance, I could search for Mr. Wilson, Joseph Kearns, and I can find all the movies he was in, and I can find the TV shows. I guess he was in Alice in Wonderland, 1951. I didn't know that. So let's look at what you would do in Cody. So here we are in the same show in Cody. They have a search. But that's what you get. Uh, you get a, you can search, you gotta type in. And if you have a keyboard like this, it's rather time consuming to type in Joseph Space Kearns and then do a search. And that search will only search the currently loaded EPG. There's that basic search. This is a little more elaborate search. It's a blank screen. You got to fill in all the search terms. So I think for average viewing, Cody comes out a little bit ahead. But which platform wins this shootout comes down to how you make use of your media system. For me, most of the time, I either know what I want to watch or I'll turn on the system and check the program guide to see what's on. For that, Cody works well, if not better than Media Center, especially on my old recycled Media Center PC. That one can take some time to update the program guide if it's not been run in some time. The Raspberry Pi does that in under a minute. So if I want to search the EPG or set up some sort of recording, I'll do that on Media Center or an extender if I had one. So in the next episode, I'll look at the features where Media Center or an extender beat out a Kodi system. So stay tuned for that video. Check out some of my other cable cutting and Kodi videos in the playlist link here. Be sure to rate, comment, and share this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.